That's Third Eye Blind, semi-charmed kind of life. Good afternoon, it's Ron Batty, alive to air on CJFB FM Bolton. Can we talk? I'm very pleased and proud to present to you right now, live to air in the studio, thishouse.ca's proprietor, Mr. Arson Gullisarian, Remax broker extraordinaire. Our phone lines are open, 905-951-2899. You can also email questions at info at radiocaladin.com. Today we're going to be talking about real estate. Arson, welcome. A uh, pleasure to be here, Ron. It is an honor and a privilege to have you in here. Your website, thishouse.ca, is an incredibly rich, resource-filled information source for anybody that's thinking of buying a house, selling a house, listing a house, and even so, even if they're not planning to enter into the market at this point, there's an incredible amount of information to help them make the decision when they are ready. I took the extra time to create a website that will help everyone who is interested in buying and selling property. That's the way to go. And the way technology is unfolding and evolving as time goes on, a lot of the information that today's person in the marketplace would be seeking out would be found typically on the web. And thishouse.ca, i got to give kudos to you, a very, very beautiful website. Thank you very much. Now, there's so much information we want to go through. we got about an hour, and hopefully we can touch upon some of them, if not all of it. The first question I want to ask you is, how would you, based on your years of experience and your expertise, how would you describe the real estate marketplace today in the GTA and our surrounding immediate vicinity? Um, the last several weeks, uh, the market has changed slightly. We're still in an incredible seller's market. What's happening throughout the GTA and surrounding area is, is that the inventory has increased. Um, I would say about two months ago there was lack of inventory and because there was a lack of inventory buyers were desperate to buy a property. Truthfully anything that had a door pretty much sold at that time. But right now buyers have a lot of options and that's the most beautiful thing. So it's slowly shifting from a buyer, a seller's market to more of a balanced market as the inventory increases. The interest rates are still low, the market is incredibly hot, but buyers have a little bit more choices and the multiple offers are starting to decrease less and less throughout the various pockets on that. Um, so which is really good for a buyer. Like before, you know, when you were looking at buying a property, expect to go into multiple offer situation almost 90% of the time. Now that is about 5% of the time throughout the various pockets throughout the GTA. I'm so glad you brought up the topic of multiple offers. For our listeners that aren't familiar with that particular phrase and term, what exactly is a multiple offer? I've heard talk about it. What is it simply? Uh, basically, it's a competing offer where uh, more than one buyer wants to buy that specific property. And in a situation like that is, is uh, for example, if the seller is asking for $400,000, um, in a competing offer, um, buyers will generally go over asking price on that. And uh, so basically, if someone really loves a property, they'll pay over asking price to get that property. And in today's market, um, and now it's been the situation throughout most of the GTA over the last three, four months. So multiple offers have been pretty commonplace over the last couple of months, but as the market is changing, as we get deeper into the summer, it's becoming less and less of a phenomenon. Uh, another question I wanted to ask you, and I've heard a lot of discussion about this, how is the HST going to impact the market based on your experience? Well, you know what, it's a little bit unknown from a lot of uh, people from a buying and selling perspective, but the HST is going to affect brand new homes only on that. Um, but it will affect resale homes in the sense that when a seller puts a property on the market and it sells, um, the commission for the realtor that, that's in play um, is applied with HST. In the past it was just GST on that. And also a couple of other things with legal fees. Instead of GST, there's HST on the services. Uh, so it does affect it in a small amount, but I don't think it's going to affect it in a large scale. Um, historically, I mean, uh, as far as July comes, the market usually slows down. It's a time of the year that most people go on holidays, and the market usually slows down until, I, from my professional experience, around August 15th to 20th, it picks up again on that. So HST is just another adjustment. Unfortunately, uh, we as Canadians, uh, we seem to uh, uh, accept uh, higher taxes as it comes <laughs> out. We complain for a little bit, and later on, we just accept it as part of life. So I think after two, three weeks after July 1st, people will uh, adjust their lifestyle and accommodate HST on everything that they buy in uh, Ontario. You're listening to Bolton Can We Talk. I'm your host, Ron Badia, on CJFB-FM, live in the studio. 
the proprietor of thishouse.ca, Mr. Arson Gillisarian, registered broker with Remax. His website, thishouse.ca. Our phone lines are open, 905-951-2899, as well as email. If you'd like to email in a question, if you're a little shy to go on the air, you can reach us at info at radiocaladin.com. And speaking of which, I have a question from Malcolm. What is the average rate of commission when you hire a real estate agent? That's the question. Okay. Well, the average uh, <laughs> rate of commission in the industry is about 5%. And what happens with that is, is usually what we offer is, uh, of the 5%, we offer 2.5% to cooperating agents, meaning that uh, uh, we offer to an agent that is bringing a buyer in that, and then we give that 2.5% on that. Um, sometimes when the listing agent, uh, like myself, if we sign a contract for 5%, um, sometimes when we bring in on buyer, we give a little bit of a more of a discount rate on that, so it makes it a little bit fair for the seller on that. And that's just a, a general guide. Everything can be negotiated. Uh, that brings to mind the topic of what about uh, some of these signs I see where you say 1% commission or a severely discounted commission. Are they offering the same services or is that something that uh, reflects the kind of services they offer? Service is determined by the realtor um, themselves on that. The 1% commission, um, in my opinion, is a little bit misnomer. You need to be clear about it. Um, in today's marketplace, you literally have to offer 2.5% to other agents to bring in a buyer. I mean, um, under the Competition Act, uh, I mean, technically you could offer 2% or 1.5%, but in the real world, what happens is, is that, you know, 2.5% attracts a lot of uh, agents to bring in their buyer. In some situations when you are more motivated to sell, you offer cooperating agents 3% or even higher. I've seen as high as 5% to bring in the buyer on that. So there's a lot of factors on that. With the 1%, um, basically it's the listing agent that collects 1%. But in the real world, 95% of deals are done through another agent. And then so in, that, in this situation, it would be at least 3.5% commission. Um, as far as the services that they offer, each company, um, each agent um, varies on that. So you'd have to take a look at it closely. I'm not here to judge on that. But basically, um, the service is very important, what they promise, what they deliver. And in today's market, honestly, just listing your property on MLS is not enough. You have to advertise print, media, internet, radio, every form of media out there because you don't know where your buyer is going to come through. And, and that's the key. you got to market, price, stage to sell. That brings to mind yet another topic. It was in the news a few months ago how there was discussion of MLS being available to register your property to just anyone. And it made me think, and think rather deeply, that just because... People may be able to access MLS.ca and market their property. That won't change the fact that there are still realtors, such as yourself, that offer services above and beyond by just simply listing it on MLS.ca. You offer a great deal of services if somebody were to list their property with you. Uh, topics such as staging, uh, acting as the negotiator, and a whole list of other things that you offer are very key and important. So you're not just a gatekeeper to place the property on MLS.ca. Isn't that the case? That is correct. Um, the MLS.ca uh, is a, a a public website there where the all the buyers uh, would go on to it and do their research for looking for a property but but the fact of the matter is is a lot of the districts had to have their own real estate board and most of the realtors they search on their own real estate board I'm a part of the Toronto real estate board and then all the listings that do come up we look on the Toronto real estate board we don't look on the MLS MLS is a, basically for general uh, information for the public for around Canada I know people from around the world do look at it but truthfully, when we do book appointments for to see properties, we only look at it on our own board and we pull out the listings on that. Um, I mean, the MLS is, is an interesting, I know the public believes that it is the most important part of selling. Truthfully, it is another realtor that's involved and part of a real estate. Um, buying and selling a home is a very complicated process. Everyone believes that it's like selling a quick car and you're done, but it's not. It's very complicated. There's a lot of legalities involved. And you could lose a considerable amount of money in, the, in this world if you make the wrong mistake, the wrong decisions. An, exper an experienced realtor is there to guide you from beginning to end and provide a level of service that is beyond just posting on the MLS. I mean, there are various websites out there for, for sale by owners. People do try to sell it on themselves, try to sell, uh, save on the commission. But the fact is, is 
Uh, statistically, I would say almost 98% never end up selling, and at the end, they hire a, a local realtor to list it and market it and promote it and sell it. It's not just listing it on the MLS. It's about marketing, negotiating, promoting, and protecting you in your valuable asset. You're listening to CJFBFM, Bolton's B105.5 on your FM dial, streaming live across the planet, provided, of course, if you're hooked up to the internet. With us live in the studio, right here in person, Mr. Arsene Gillisarian, broker with Remax, thishouse.ca, answering questions all about real estate. Our phone lines are open, 905-951-2899, and you can also email us at info at radiocaladin.com. we got a break for commercial. We'll be right back in about three and a half minutes.